obtain the mesh file and also the full training movie by purchasing this product. In this project, we will simulate a solar water desalination system. One of the thermal methods of water desalination is the use of solar desalination units. In solar water desalination, solar energy is used as heat source and cause the evaporation process. In the functional mechanism of this type of desalination, surface ev evaporation happens by solar energy. The produced vapor collides with the cold surface of the glass and converts to pure water after distillation. The present study investigates the performance of a solar steel thermal desalination unit. The present model consists of a small chamber with a sloping glass surface at the top. The solar heat passes through the glass to the surface of the water and in the closure and causes surface evaporation. The resulting vapor impact to the cold glass surface and undergo a distillation process. Pure water from hot vapor distillation moves down the slope of the glass plate and discharges as pure water. The present 2D model was designed by Design Modeler Software. The geometry consists of a sloping glass surface at the top and a horizontal water plate at the bottom. A structured mesh was performed using acid meshing software and the element number is 16,000. In general setup tab, you will see different dialog box from scale to units. By clicking on scale dialog box, a new window will appear. By clicking on the check dialog box, you will see that in the console tab, the Fluent software will start to check your mesh and geometry for any error. In the appeared window, enable the energy equation since you want to obtain the temperature distribution in your computational domain. After clicking on new, a new window will appear, in which you can define the material properties yourself, or you can click on Fluent database and then select a new material from the Fluent database. Under the Species tab, you can see that a assumption has been made for this wall, which is that only water exists on this wall, which makes us to choose the specified mass fraction under the species boundary condition, and then setting a mass fraction of water to 1. Now for this boundary, under the thermal section, you can see that the thermal condition defined for this boundary is set to be heat flux. And the amount of heat flux for this boundary is set to be zero, which means that this wall is adiabatic. After double clicking on the residual button, you will see that a new window will appear, showing you the absolute criteria for the residuals of each equation. For example, you can see the absolute criteria for continuity, x velocity, y velocity, and so on. This criteria refers to the difference between the errors of each iteration and it refers to the fact that if the error is less than these criteria those equations have reached convergence also as you can see the convergence criterion is set is set to be in absolute form in the appear window you can select the number of iteration you, you want your simulation to progress In the appeared contour, you can see the vortices form inside the computational domain, which was explained before, is because of the buoyancy forces and gravitational effect that is available inside the computational domain. Finally, a summary of different settings and setup that we have used in our project is presented to you in the slide. To benefit from Master CFD services including simulation, consultation and training, contact our experts via info at sign mastercfd.com.